the Hawaii volcano exploded from the Halamaumau crater causing a volcanic cloud and ash fall, according to a USGS geologist, Michelle Coombs, a USGS volcanologist told Associated Press, we're still watching things real closely and we could have additional larger events that are more powerful. The majority of the 333,000-acre Hawaii Volcanoes National Park remains closed until further notice, after the volcano ramped up its activity overnight. Ms. Coombe said in a USGS video, a little bit before 4 o'clock at Kilauea's Halamalmau crater we had an explosion that lasted a few minutes. USGS Getev Hawaii Volcano Mount Kilauea has erupted and more explosions are expected. It is the biggest cloud we have had so far during the recent activity. Michelle Coombs, it caused a volcanic cloud that reached as high as 30,000 feet above sea level and it is the biggest cloud we have had so far during the recent activity. Gas masks were handed out as health officials recorded red level of sulfur dioxide in the Pahoa community, meaning choking and breathing difficulties were likely. An aviation red alert was already issued but there is now an increased risk of ash hitting passenger jet engines cruising at 30,000 feet. No deaths or serious injuries were reported during the eruption, but some schools in Pahoa were evacuated. Ms. Coombs added, We have had reports of light ash fall in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park and we expect that folks may be experiencing ash fall around Volcano Village. It is raining in the area and that is probably keeping the ash fall close to the Kilauea summit area. Currently there is still low-level ash emissions up to about 12,000 feet above sea level. We expect activity could wax and wane like this in the near future.